I'll take the R2 unit. Come on, Moby. How many different takes do you need? No, I don't want to switch roles. Dear Tim and Moby, how do I figure out the theme of a story? And why is finding the theme so important anyway? From Bob A. Thanks for the questions, Bob. A theme is a central message or idea woven into the action of a story. Themes give a story meaning by linking the fictional world with our own. They comment on issues from our everyday lives and from the wider culture. They're a huge part of what makes films and literature so fascinating. If you've ever read a fable, you already know a simple type of theme. Fables always include a moral, a lesson about life. Take the tortoise and the hare. The hare is always bragging about how fast he is, so the tortoise challenges him to a race. The hare is so confident, he stops to take a nap halfway through. Slowly but surely, the tortoise passes the hare and wins. It might seem like the story is all about speed and running. The larger message is that patience and determination pay off. The race is used to communicate a lesson that can be applied to real life. Themes are usually more subtle in movies and novels. It's easy to be wowed by spaceships, aliens, and princesses. And those are essential parts of the Star Wars story. But to find the themes, we have to read between the lines. Well, not literally. We have to look for patterns or ideas that come up frequently. The repetition of a word or phrase is a good sign you're onto a theme. We call those recurring words or images motifs. The Force is one big motif in Star Wars. We learn more about its symbolic meaning each time it's mentioned. Well, like at the beginning, the Force seems to be just a magical power. But over the course of the series, we learn that it's much more than that. It's a universal energy that connects all living things, and a spiritual balance between light and darkness. Themes are often set up as pairs of opposing ideas, like with the Force. At its most basic level, it represents the struggle between good and evil, but it's also about nature versus technology, the tension between instinct and logic, or the choice between freedom and destiny. And they sound complicated, but those themes are all right there in the movie. We find them by analyzing the story elements. For example, we can examine lines of dialogue, what the characters say. Like when Darth Vader calls the Death Star a technological terror. Then he says the colossal weapon is nothing compared to the power of the Force. His comments set up technology and nature as opposing ideas. Plot, the action in a story, is another great place to hunt for themes. Okay, Moby Wan, I will use the Force. I will trust my intuition. We did it, R2! We destroyed the Death Star. Right, Luke is successful because he relies on the Force. His natural instincts are victorious over destructive technology. Uh, well, in a great story, all the elements work together to support the themes. Look at the settings in Star Wars, where the action takes place. The Death Star is massive and spotless. Like a lot of advanced technology, it feels sinister and cold. Compare that with the Rebels' ships. They look and feel lived in, like a home. Even the costumes support that contrast. Stormtroopers wear masks, and their uniforms are totally rigid. They look more like machines than people. Compare that to the Rebel outfits, what we good guys wear. Our clothing is loose, comfy, and made of organic materials. Well, appearance is a key part of characterization. That's all the ways a character is portrayed, how he looks, speaks, thinks, and acts. Remember when we first meet Moby-Wan? 
He lives a simple life, not surrounded by gizmos and gadgets. He's a respected Jedi Master, but unlike the bad guys, he's humble and has a sense of humor. Yeah, those themes really resonate in today's high-tech world. Anyway, let's get this place cleaned up. Dad's going to be home soon. What? You are my father? No! No!